the place for comic book and anime reviews. Hey there you guys, Brother Roman Kimbo 12's YouTube channel, playing for comic anime reviews. This is my review for America Chavez, Made in the USA, issue number three. So this is your little America Chavez made in the U.S. today. Uh, it, we really deal with giving America a uh, kind of a new origin story in this issue. Uh, so kind of, I, don't, I kind of want to go into like the entire story of the whole uh, before I get into one of these. Because I've been wanting to kind of, I mean, this point I kind of wanted to review America Chavez made in the U.S.A. since it kind of started. Uh, this is actually a series I've been really enjoying a lot. It's been one of the series I've been consistently reading week after week, well, month after month, I should say. Um, and I've been really enjoying I've been really engrossed in America's story. I think it's a lot better now than America's story, even though I didn't really read that that much. Um, this has definitely been very solid. This has been um, making America very much a superhero character and really dealing with her family life. You know, seeing like all the drama with America Chavez, and I've been really, really enjoying both aspects of the story, and it feels very grounded, which is what I like. I like when stories are very grounded. I don't really like the big multiverse fight though, with all the blasting and things going on. Like I like it when characters are grounded in some sort of reality. It makes me enjoy them more. It makes me connect with the characters more. Uh, and it makes me invest in who they are. Uh, so, so I've been enjoying this series so far. Uh, I did hear with this issue that a lot of people were really upset with the issue because they changed the origin in a pretty big way. Uh, and having read the issue, I'm going to kind of give you guys my thoughts on it. So in this issue, we really get to see uh, America um, go back and she meets another girl who ends up being her sister, and her sister kind of kidnaps her and says she's gonna like, there's like this thing, this needle she's gonna play inside of her. And she first she's getting mad, she's, she's getting mad through this whole other issue. She's like, "What, you're gonna try to drug me now?" And he's saying that I'm no mess with my ideas to drug you. My name is to make you remember your past, remember what happened to you, um, made you who you were. And she's America's not having any of it. She doesn't want to believe any of this. Right now, we don't really, that's not the name of this issue, we don't really know what's going on here in this issue. Uh, we don't know what the, if this lady is even being true, if this even really is her sister, because it may not even be. Uh, we just don't know. Um, there, we only have about, I believe there's a this five issue series, I do believe, so I think we don't have two more issues left after this. Uh, I'm interested in where those issues go and if this really does come to pass. And this ends up being a new origin for this character. But for right now, that is far what we know. That this is a girl has come. She said, this is not your true destiny. And she kind of reveals that, like, there was this white guy. And at first, I was really kind of getting worried at first. Like, are they going to take away? Because what I read really want them to do is them take away um, Ms. Marlowe having these two moms. I really didn't want that to be taken away. They don't seem like they're taking away from this issue. They seem they're still going to continue on with the mom's thing, uh, which is good. But they did introduce this scientist character who was experimenting on these girls and trying to help them cure of this weird disease. And uh, this issue really kind of deals a lot with that. And the, these two late um, Latino ladies definitely helped America and raised her up and help, and she eventually gained these powers. And that seems to be what the story they're going with now for her origin story. Um, obviously, whenever you change the character origin story, there's going to be a lot of backlash that comes with that. Like, a lot of people are not going to be happy with whatever origin you give this character now whenever you change things up. And for a character that has been firmly established in the Marvel Universe as long as America has been. Uh, but I got to tell you, reading the issue... Um, seeing how it was being portrayed, I really enjoyed the way they went with this. Uh, I actually don't hate this all that much. Uh, I do still hope that they continue to, in some way, connect America to the multiverse. That's kind of the whole point of America, Chavez, is her being connected to the multiverse. 
um, but uh, I like how grounded, how much he also continues to ground America um, in her own characterization. So I do enjoy that aspect of, and I do enjoy the part that like it makes her a true Latino character. I think of before this point happened, she was not. So I think that's kind of cool that um, they've kind of really cemented this inside. And then also retcons a lot of the last American series as well, which, you know, some people would say that's probably a good thing. Uh, overall, I never got to say, I do really enjoy what's happening here in this series. The series has not, like, fell off the, the bridge for me quite yet. We'll see what happens in the next two issues and where they all end up going. And we'll see where everything culminates to in the end. So, then we're also on America, Man of USA, issue number three. Let me go about the bubble of this issue of America Chavez, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.